I'm back with another video on the mini lathe. In this video, basically what I'm going to do, just uh, going to slightly do a surface finish on my back of the spindle. I'm planning to add a future to my mini lathe, but I'm not going to spoil it. I'm not going to say what it is. So basically the back of the spindle is quite out of the shape and uh, basically the future that I'm planning to add to this lathe it's basically takes some power out of the spindle so and I measure back of the spindle and, and as you can see is really out of the shape Look at the inside. I don't know how, how they cut this. The inside is in bad shape. I made this piece of tool. Basically, it's just uh, 12 millimeter stainless steel. And how it works, uh, I drilled in. And I can place piece of drill bit while I shaped the drill bit as a like a carbide I made it so sharp so basically I'm gonna take it slightly off with, with these tools and how it's gonna work so basically I'm gonna place this at the back push it in and basically open this up like this and hold hold the piece of stainless here but the chuck doesn't spin doesn't spin the rod is basically it's kind of resting on the chalk and uh, and basically my drill chalk gonna hold the end and I turn on my lathe and while this spindle spin while the spindle is turning I can move back and forth so I need to take slightly off the face and also uh, one centimeter from the in inner diameter to make it slightly flat because there is a too much run out in there
Right, now the spindle is uh, slightly, is better now, so basically I managed to get the uh, face within uh, 500 of a mil and the inner diameter uh, is again is between 5 to 10 hundred of a mil is the run out and uh, I can't really get, get, get make take a deeper cut first because if I take a deeper cut I'll make the inner diameter bigger so basically at the end is, is a thread and uh, in my basically a snap off the end of the spindle so I wouldn't do that I also I can't really make this uh, run through because there is a slightly deflection into my tool So basically, the future is a turning device. I'm not going to say again what is that device. But well, I need to add uh, this pulley at the back of the spindle. And the way I designed this, I modeled this on the CAD. And uh, there is a taper at the end. So as I place the taper and there is a conical shape that goes through and also holds holds the pulley at the another end so the the, the plan is uh, to add this pulley inside and what this does as and as you can see that's the way the cone the cone shape goes inside the taper and it sits right at the end of the spindle and as I tied up this uh, bolt it's gonna lock in place so that cone shape push the tapers and the outer diameter slightly goes open up and it basically it, it lock in place and it doesn't move 
and the reason I designed this uh, just in case I said maybe sometime I need to work on a, a longer run the stock inside the chalk so I can easily twist this bolt and push this out that's the plan now you be my guest and tell me what, what is the future that I'm planning to add I'm not I'm not sure whether I'm gonna succeed or not but this is gonna be my next video probably hopefully I'm gonna finish it soon so we will see how it looks F success or failure I'm, I'm planning to show you the next video what I'm what I'm about to do thanks for watching see you next time